ANAL Inspiration of Japan Welcome to Japan! Today, we will introduce how to treat endangered Japanese people. If you are planning to come to Japan, please watch this. First, Japanese people think all foreigners are aliens. Japanese people never discriminate against people based on their nationality and race. They call all foreigners gaijin and discriminate against them equally. Japanese people have a unique eyesight and they don't see nationality or race, except for Koreans and Chinese. Please don't say hi or talk to Japanese people suddenly. Japanese are really shy with foreigners, so they will be surprised and run away from you. In Japan, adults are also very aware of stranger danger. Japanese people steal curious looks at foreigners. Even if you meet their gaze, don't smile at them. Japanese people don't know how to react and it may create a mass panic. Japanese people have a habit of asking foreigners, why did you come to Japan? Because in general, Japanese people only speak three English phrases. Why did you come to Japan? Oh, your Japanese is great though and sorry, I cannot speak English. So, when they meet foreigner, they can only ask why did you come to Japan? In fact, they are not interested in the reason you came to Japan. They just want to know when you are leaving. And don't worry, whatever you answer, they cannot understand anyway. If you say only one word in Japanese, Japanese people will start praising your Japanese. This is a tatemai culture and culture of societal politeness among Japanese people, using beautiful words to try to hide their honest feelings. Because if they tell the truth, it might hurt people or cause problems. To put it simply in English, tatemai is what Obama and Biden often use. Japanese people cannot say no directly. So if you ask out a Japanese person and they say, okay, let's go sometime, and they don't mention a specific day, be careful. It means I cannot think of anything less interesting than going out with you. Japanese people have to translate Japanese too. If you are an anime lover, listen to this carefully. Not all Japanese people know a lot about anime. To be honest, general Japanese people only know famous anime. Even in Japan, anime nerds are seen as weird. Their situation is the same as you in your country. They cannot become popular. They live their lives in the closet. Japanese people are raised to follow the rules in any situation. So even though there are no cars, pedestrians follow the traffic rules and wait until the traffic signal changes. Among Japanese, we have a famous phrase. It's not scary if everyone crosses at a red light. If you try this as a foreigner, your visa will be revoked. So, Japanese people also have a tendency that once someone breaks the rules, many people follow them. This is a land of lemmings. Japanese people always do the peace sign when they take photos. But please don't ask them, why do you do the peace sign? Many people suppose there is a deep meaning behind it. In reality, even Japanese people don't know why we do it. We do it because everyone does it though. If you are lucky, you can meet a new species of Japanese people, those who can speak English. Those Japanese people have been kicked out of their flock. So they study English hard to make foreign friends. They need help. So when you meet them, please be kind. If you have a tattoos on your body, please hide them in front of Japanese people. Japanese people think people who have tattoos are all yakuza, so it makes them very scared. Sometimes some foreigners show off their anime character and kanji tattoos proudly in public. Please refrain from doing so, unless you want to see Japanese people laugh. Among Japanese, there is a weird dual personality species. They are called Salaryman. Usually, they are like robots. They just work hard and are suspicious of people. So, it's impossible for foreigners to talk to them. But after they finish work, when they start drinking in izakaya or drinking bars, they become outgoing, humorous, and super friendly. This is when you will hear the most English. 
But the next morning, they go back to being a robot employee and they seem to forget everything about the previous night. So, foreigners only have the chance to talk to them in Izakaya. If you want to have a look at the Japanese salaryman, please visit an Izakaya. Japanese people think working overtime is an amazing thing. To be honest, Japanese people have really good skills at creating unnecessary work. They create a lot of unnecessary work to be able to do overtime. Then, that unnecessary work creates jobs. You could say that 50% of Japanese employment is supported by unnecessary work. That's why AI will never take Japanese people's jobs, because they only do unnecessary work that AI cannot think to create. We hope you keep these tips in mind while enjoying your visit to Japan. Remember, don't smile on the outside, smile on the inside.